have here? A few? All right. Let me just say real quick. My, I am David Swafford. I do the public relations for Star Citizen. In the magazines and online, that's usually something that I set up. So that's my job. And my job now is to move on and introduce you to the rest of the team. Are you ready? Yeah. Let me bring up Ben Lesnick. Mensch, du bist ja auch ein Star Citizen, wie geht's denn, wo geht's denn zur Party? Okay, 
the other side is moving on to Mike Mullen, who gives you all the great, uh, the great pictures. Uh, and have a great evening. It's so great to see you supporting Chris and the entire team. Again, big ups to the team in Austin. They took it hard to bring you the hanger tonight. Yeah. Now I'm a bit overwhelmed, but I can tell you there's another person who's not, and that is Senor Bicrofono. <laughs> and Senor Bicrofono wants to make love to each and every one of you. <laughs> Know who this is? He is my longtime friend since high school. He's been my boss twice now. <laughs> I can't seem to get away from him. That's right, Eric. We met Peterson. They have all killed it for, for this, just to get to this point, and we're going to continue to kill it for you because we feel what you guys feel. It's incredible. So, who's next up here? Wayne Man with Wayne! Wait, not Wayne Man with Wayne. Oh! Und 
Plattform in Boden zu sein und genießen unseren Aufenthalt in Köln. Dieser Abend wurde durch die Mithilfe einiger Fans ermöglicht. Dafür möchten wir uns ganz besonders bei Christoph, Benedikt, Eric und seine Kamerateam David und Michael bedanken. Die Hardware wurde uns freundlicherweise durch die Firmen Alienware und Razer zur Verfügung gestellt. Dank Ihrer Unterstützung können Sie im Anschluss an Christus Präsentation die neue Hammer Module ausprobieren. Vielen Dank. Und nun möchte ich euch jemanden vorstellen, der eigentlich keine Vorstellung bedarf. Er wird, er wird für euch die neue Harmonie enthüllen. I proudly present you, Mr. Chris Robert. We feel indebted and trust you guys, and so we're happy. To put, we put it. We put it. 
put it on your hard drives. And um, anyway, so let me show you. And we'll go there. And I don't know if anyone's out there. I thought one, one of the fun things uh, with all pin is we have three different levels of hanger. But um, I don't know if anyone here, uh, I know everyone gets a little crazy with the passwords and usernames, but we can log on to someone's hanger and we can run the whole thing. So, so, uh, so uh, yeah, I need to show the different levels of hangers. So, uh, what's that? Has anyone got like just one ship in the hangar? Ones that's probably going here is just got one shit. And then we'll, 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 we've got one? Okay. Right. And by the way, the next thing is probably like, uh, right now, going, like, what's he doing? He's not using the control demo version. Okay. Are we up on the screen yet? No, no, just put it up on the screen. You can sit down. All right, see you. All right. So, one of the things about the process that we're using that's actually kind of really interesting is because we've decided to deliver the game as we're building it and share the functionality with you. So it's the idea of sort of iterate and deliver and do it constantly. So the same thing you see if you have Firefox in front and how they keep pushing build. We're going to do the same thing. And so one thing we had to do uh, much sooner than you would normally do in the development process is have a whole sort of client patching system. So it's very similar to uh, you would experience on World of Warcraft, the League of Legends, and all the rest of it. So we built a patcher which everyone will download on Thursday. It's about 25 megabytes of plan, I think. And you enter your username and password. There you go. There you are. Chris! Chris! I need to see the screen. Well, you want to show the, the username and password, right? Otherwise, you're going to have to change your address. <laughs>
you a patching before you guys were arriving, which was what I was doing on stage when I came on here in the beginning. But uh, normally what will happen in the laundry is it will patch automatically to the most recent patch, whatever we push out. Our plan is after we uh, deliver the, the, mod, the hangar module, we will do two major revisions to that before we get to the dark fighting module, and we'll also do in, in between revisions. So if a new ship comes online, we'll get one that we push out to you. Alright, so I'm going to launch you into it now. So this is the uh, basic hangar, or the disc app, as you sometimes call it. Um, set up. Uh, thank you very much. We, we hit that and we got the system and um, you're actually seeing the uh, first um, results of the motion capture. We got about a week, uh, a month ago and we, um, three days of capture, we're like walking around and here's, and here's what the really cool thing is, is that we forgot to capture a crash. Uh, and we went back and got this last week. And that's all this because we got the system set up in the studio. Pretty awesome. really a great hanger unless you can get inside and check out your ship, so here we go.
so this account has three ships in, but it's still uh, is set for the basic hangar. So generally, I'll be in here quickly, show you the scales, and then we're going to go to uh, the next level of the hangar. Yeah, that's the dark fire. 